Several women brutally attacked and robbed in broad daylight. For the first time, you are hearing their stories tonight. We're learning more about the man accused of committing these heinous crimes as well. News 4's Carly Gordon joins us live in Murfreesboro this afternoon with a story you won't see anywhere else, Carly. Yeah, one of the victims came here to this Murfreesboro doctor's office for an appointment. She had her hand on the door, was about to go in, and that's when it happened. Man, come running up to me and hit me in the face and got me, knocked me to the concrete. And when he got me on the concrete, he hit me really, really hard with his fist right in between my shoulders. Helenia Thompson now has two fractured vertebrae, scratches and bruises all over her body. Physically, doctors say it will take her six weeks to recover, but she says it's the memory of what happened that will keep her awake at night for far longer. Seeing him, thinking he's going to come back. Police say 37-year-old Lenores Chambers committed the crime. They say he did the same thing to two other women, one at the Embassy Suites in Murfreesboro, another at an office on Cool Springs Boulevard in Franklin, beating them just so he could steal their purses. He's a monster. He's a, he's a, he is a low life because he, he is doing this and living off of hardworking people. News 4 found Chambers has a lengthy criminal history in Florida. It's 28 pages long, dates back to 2001, and includes arrests for things like grand theft, battery on the elderly, but mostly strong arm robberies. I felt like it was very possible that we could have even more serious injuries to our victims if he wasn't immediately taken off the street. Knight Thompson wonders how and why Chambers was able to be here. I feel like he should have been in prison, yes. Meanwhile, Murfreesboro and Franklin police are now building their cases, hoping this time around they'll be able to keep him there. He is no good, and I pray he never gets out. He'll, he'll continue to do it if he does. Now, Chambers remains in jail tonight. He has not yet posted bond. Investigators here in Murfreesboro tell me they're still working to see if he can be connected to some other robberies. Reporting live in Murfreesboro, I'm Carly Gordon, News 4.